hoes ain't in my lead. Bad bitch, do what I please. Nigga wanna leave, he can leave. I, I'd rather be fuck nigga free. Yeah. Y'all hoes fuck for the free. Horse. You gotta pay a fee for this pee. I'm talking about a fee you can't reach. I'm talking about a fee like big bitch. Yeah. Birthday new set of keys. Now that's big dick in a G. Yeah. He said he wanna love me for me. Why? I told him fuck love, what a cheese. I put this ass on him, he can't breathe. Mm. I put this pussy on him, he can't breathe. Mm. Broke boys ain't in my lead. Dummy wanna leave, he can't leave. Bye, bye sir. Out of my life, sir. No. Out of sight, out of mind, take a hike, sir. Kick rock. Fine, you a sick thot. You the runner. Never had a big drop. Yeah. Let's go. Know the beat afro. You know these niggas love when it's natural. If I back it up, you special. And if I get low, God bless you. Bad chick, yeah. That's me. Chanel bag, yeah. That's me. Chanel shoes, yeah. That's me. Account full, yeah. That's me. Your, your boyfriend know I'm his fave. And we don't speak till he get paid. Face beat wig always laid. All my ass niggas know they play. First strap pick ain't no trade. I never get cut, this ain't straight. Nigga left me, he was brave. A bitch like me unfair. Fuck it up, sis. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up, sis. Fuck it up. What a bag at, nigga, throw it up. Throw it up. What a bag at, nigga, throw it up. Throw it up. Fuck it up, sis. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up, sis. Fuck it up. What a bag at, nigga, throw it up. Throw it up. What a bag at, nigga, throw it up. Throw it up. They let a raw bitch in the game. Poe uh, niggas can't in a chain. Poe ho stay in your lane. Uh, you fake like your nigga chain. Uh, Nikki that dope in your veins. No. Pussy tastes like sugar cane. Please. And no, I don't hang with no lane. Now go and fuck it up with no shame. Bad chick, yeah. That's me, Chanel bag, yeah. That's me, Chanel shoes, yeah. That's me, account full, yeah. That's me. Fuck it up, sis. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up, sis. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. What a bag at, nigga. Throw it up. Throw it up. What a bag at, nigga. Throw it up. Throw it up. Fuck it up, sis. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up, sis. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. What a bag at, nigga. Throw it up. Throw it up. What a bag at, nigga. Throw it up. Throw it up. Money fall on me. He's trying to ball with me. Honey, ball. My wife, there's more. Hang on to your seat, baby. Cause this one's a screamer. What is going on, Entertain Satan Come Tell with another video and after show. Ain't nobody calling in though, so this might be quicker than y'all think. Um, uh, if y'all want to see my reaction to the episodes, like I said, I'm probably gonna just keep it on Twitch for now. Um, just doing like the Not a TV stuff on Twitch. Um, make sure you guys go over to my Twitch and subscribe. Okay, we just finished reacting to both episodes of. Me girls and also making the cast. All right. I want to talk about each of the shows like individually. There, here's the thing, not at TV. They're producing a lot more shows than Zeus is, but I feel like they're making a mistake by producing way too much and not thinking of the content that they're doing, especially when it comes to um one making the cast. Like we get I get the premise of the show of trying to put the girls and the niggas on to a potential show on not at TV, but it's like we still doing the group chat thing. So half the time, we didn't know some of the beefs, especially in the beginning, because of the group chat. You know what I'm saying? So that's what kind of threw me off. Plus, you guys had two people from Not SCV returning, uh, Anya and uh, Black, which I'm like, both of them are already on the cast. So how are they going to make the cast again? They got to make the cast again? Damn. So that's what kind of threw me off with that. Now, I do, I do feel like they casted some funny-ass people on there. Like I said, if y'all want to see my full reaction to everything, go on my Twitch. But it's the twins for me. I asked this on my Twitch, and I want answers down below. Are the Tertrous twins, guys, are they really, are they straight or are they gay? Because, like, they throw me off. Because they can't be straight. I'm just, I'm sorry. <laughs> It doesn't matter, but I just seen one of the blogs post that one day. So I, it kind of threw me off because I'm like, wait, what? Like I said, I haven't been keeping up with the Not TV stuff as much as I used to. 
So I need y'all help a little bit more than usual because that threw me off a lot. The dad girl, super annoying. She's extremely annoying. Um, I don't know where the heck they found that girl, but she comes across doing too much to be a part and a main factor of the show. She gets on my nerves heavy. Now, the Dre Sean guy, she like him. Uh, I seen one of the blogs posted earlier today. He actually does uh, impersonations and stuff like I do, which I like because, you know, I love a nigga that's creative. So shout out to him. I just didn't appreciate those shorts. I said it on my Twitch too. Them shorts were too short. That first, I think it was the second or third episode. Dre Shaw, you know you too damn tall to be wearing them short shorts. Ain't got nothing to do with actual shorts, but you just too tall. They should have been a little bit longer. You're just too tall. Okay, finally they casted a nigga as tall as Cashy to maybe be able to take him down. Okay, that Ghana girl, she's annoying a little bit as well. I wish some of the people that are not as much into the drama was given some confessional time. Because there's a dude on there that I still don't even know who that is. All I just see is his him sitting there. That guy with that furry fuzzy hat with the shades on, I wouldn't be able to tell you his name. If it hit me across the face, that's it. Okay. Um, and then blog day. <laughs> that was blog day. Oh, that was blog day. Okay, okay. Cause I'm like, who the hell is that? Shot <laughs> poor blog day. I see them on the blogs complaining about pay. I hope they paid you blog day. Pay blog day, you know that's it. I need to talk to him. Do you regret doing that show, uh, uh, Blog Day? Play Blog Day. Justice for Blog Day. Okay? Justice for Blog Day. Now, let's get to Mean Girls. This show had a lot of potential. But Isaiah be having good concept, but SQ should be off. Um, pressure. <laughs> Let me tell you something about Pressure. Pressure said... Um, uh, do you want to continue this conversation? Because this is trash. I said, bitch, when I tell you I screamed when she said that, that girl should have gone across that table and popped you pressure because you had nerve. She said, this is trash. <laughs> now, y'all say pressure is the raw host, but she gives us a little bit of key too because she's so like ignorant. To certain shit. You feel me? Like, should be like, you still mad? Like, why are you so upset, babe? Like, let's talk. Let's have a conversation. Even though she just made the girls mad, should act like she didn't do nothing. That's the level of delusion we kind of need on real television. But it does get annoying after a while. I'm not gonna lie to you. It does. Because it's like, girl, like you know what you're doing. Don't try to act oblivious to it. Now, them paw print girls, they was there wrong for what they did. They was trying to be funny, and they got caught up. They were trying to be funny. They were trying to make fun of uh, Pressure's, probably her take up itties. Now, Pressure, I'm going to recommend you something. We need to donate tonight so we can get Pressure a good old push up bra. Because that's all she needs. And then she'll be sickening, okay? We just need a good old push up bra. Just push them up to the skies. And pressure will be all right, okay? They done made fun of her titties by like three, four times in this latest episode. They done caught a banana boat, all that. Now, some of my favorite sisters out of the series are the Pretty Johns and also the TTG sisters. Now, one of the TTG sisters looks like Kyla Pratt to me and like she's sickening to me, okay? And the baby girl from the Pretty Johns, I like them too. Without the TTG, they would low-key would have been screwed because they're the ones kind of bringing in the drama, okay? Now, Hillary. Let's talk about you, bitch. Hillary. Big Hill, not the little way. It was the wig for me. Why were you trying to keep that wig attached to your head, Hillary? Hillary was hanging onto that wig if her life counted on it for dear life. She did not want to see, she did not want us to see her with them straight backs. 
at all. The wig was itching on top of her head and she was still holding on to it. A roach could have been in that bitch and she would have still had it on her head. A raccoon could have crawled up in that wig and she still would have kept it in there. She didn't give up on that wig. Okay? Now that vanilla girl that they brought, I kind of feel bad for her. And the fact that they brought her by herself because she could have easily got jumped. Um, so it was kind of unfortunate that she had to go in a, a duo house by herself. Because if she got into a fight with any of the girls, she would have automatically got jumped. She would have had no chance. She would have stood no chance. And she's white. So they would have really got you, girl. Okay? And that's about it. Like I said, if y'all want to catch my full recap on everything, please go to my Twitch. I'm telling you, raw, uncensored, nothing script, not scripted, but nothing edited. Okay? Real raw. The real, real raw. I'm fucking out that TV real raw. I'm talking about Pierre real raw. Okay? We could cuss. We did a whole lot. Okay? We just did it. It was fun. Go over there. Evner Entertainment on Twitch. The link will be pinned in the comments below. Okay? All right. What's up, hot sauce? What's up? What's up? What did you think of the two shows I just talked about? Oh, my God. Making the cash is ridiculous. Like, they all looking for a camera time. They doing too much. Dad and her shoulder got blended out. What are we talking about? Anya's eye. Anya should have just sat on them bitches with her fat ass. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Who else? The twins, they already know they pansexual. Like, it's not given. Uh, you think Blanc they're banned? They have to be because, like, at least, like, one of them. Maybe, um, what is the other one? Not Q, because Q always Zayla. Is. Yeah, him. He right. probably like one of the ones that's like pansexual, I believe. Um, Blog Nate was having one room. of the girls. I don't know. Like, come on now. Like, <laughs> I think I think Q is one of the more of a girl. Pan, um, um, not Pan. What's his name? Davo. <laughs> <laughs> we don't call him Pan. <laughs> <laughs> the Pan twins. <laughs> the Pan twins. Hey, see, <laughs> screw the treacherous twins. The Pan twins. That's, That's exactly what they did. <laughs> <laughs> Blog Nay was in the room the whole time. That's why nobody knew who he was. Because he was hiding. Because they was pressing him the first episode. So he was like, I'm well, going to hide in the background. He had with the, with the shades on. Yeah, because he don't want to be on there. They was pressing him. Yeah. No. That was Blog Nay. Wow. Okay, Blog Nay, I see you. Um, but that's what the mean girls. I love pressure hosting only because she's giving messy and Isaiah know what he's doing because he know that she's going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing and nobody's going to really want to press her big ass because she's big. Yes. <laughs> um, that is that's true. Why he had, yeah, that's why he had Bio or Bia, whatever it was. No, Mama. That's why he had Mama as a backup for her because, poor baby, she was just thrown on the floor like always with them big ass titties. Like, that's crazy. Um, Are they as long as the people make it seem? Because I feel like y'all exaggerating. I mean, I never noticed it until the, the what is it, the L twins um pointed it out. I did say they were a little droopy, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, nah, they could be a little higher. But then again, sis, it's like, what, 34, you know? like Right. And, and, and she got a daughter and all that. So I'm, I'm, I'm like, okay, she got some points for a while. Her titties is drooping. But the way she be walking around talking about she giving pressure, yeah, pressure on your belly. Um, Let me see. <laughs> Oh, what else? What else? Making the cast? No, Mean Girls. What did you think of the whole uh, uh, dad backing up the, the pants wins? Do you feel like she's doing too much? What you think of that? She's been doing too much since the day. Um, that what? Oh, what happened to? She's been doing too much since the day that the guy. Um, when the guy was fighting the first. Um, the pants wins. Remember him? The big guy. Yeah. He was like, "I'm not going to jump me." She was doing too much since that day. Like she's just giving squirrel energy. She's looking for a nut. Like, I just can't stand her. Um, let me see. What else? What else? And also, uh, when it comes to... Because uh, there were some people that says that uh, the Cake Lizzy girl got called dark by the Samaya. I think her name is Samaya. Yeah, Amaya. the one that's about she tried to fuck two niggas in the shot. Oh, excuse me. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you know my bad, my bad. Dark, or did she say dark? I think she said dark because in the second one she kept saying something about like in the second fight that she had she kept saying something like you broke you ugly um you don't look like me you mad so I think definitely believe that she said dark but then again it's the way she talks so you can't understand but I definitely agree that she said dark because why would you just call out somebody saying dork what I don't get I don't get that 
You're a that dork. is true. I, I thought dork at first, but then I went back. It did. It did sound like she said uh, uh, dark. Not gonna yeah. lie, she she's a little bit of a kid and all, but her voice is irritating. Yes, she talked like she got something stuck in her throat, and I'm not gonna say what. But she talked like she got something stuck <laughs> in her throat. Something can. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> On to me girls, right? Yes. When it comes to the me girls and stuff like that, who is your favorite duo? Uh, I do like TTG. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, going with TTG. Okay. Yeah, I like TTG. Um, I like Jill, but I don't like Hillary. I'm sorry, Jill. Jill is just holding it down for Hillary. Who else is there? Yeah, I think it's just it because those are the only ones that have been making themselves known. I don't like the other two girls with the, the um, what is it, the bees in their hair. It's not that I don't like them. It's just something about one of them. The Dawns? Yeah, I like I the like Chocolate the John. I like Chocolate John. I don't know about the other one. Mm. Oh, Miss you know Dog, Lady Nasty. I think that's her name. Okay. I see what you mean. Now... Um, did you watch the Playboy's auditions and what do you think of the uh, I see listen here's the thing with not as TV they starting to treat these cats like animals now they doing a cattle auction what the hell <laughs> <laughs> you got a ticket <laughs> I said wait a minute an auction <laughs> now we back to slavery times yeah like it's uh, not as TV they're going to put all of them in line and Zoe going to pick them up <laughs> I felt so I bad for Cashy. <laughs> I felt bad for Cashy. He got flipped so many times, especially that last time he got flipped. He definitely had to cover his body. Wow. Now, are you I'll happy be- with with some of the people that got picked for the uh, the final round for the for the cattle call? Yeah, yeah. I was I was like, it's decent. I hope the one that I do hope that get picked is the guy with the cheetah to cheetah outfit. I like that one. He was definitely he was definitely given him and the tour dude from making making um making the cast. I feel like they they good. I like them. I like them a lot. Um, right. treacherous, well, not treacherous, but pan twins. Mm, I don't really want to see them again. <laughs> I want to see them separately. I want to see can, two by himself. Yeah, I can see that. I I I'll see that than them together because no, it's not. It's just giving too much. I need to be the screen time. I need to get on the camera time all the time. Like that's all they giving to me. Like oh, him calling out. I'm gonna fight you too. I'm calling you out right now. Y'all can't see my body. Child Q is Maul's evil twin. Any final thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, Maul, I think that's not. It. I'm just so happy I finally got up here, and I love you. I've been watching you for so long. You keep doing your big one, thank you, thank and you know, be a big Virgo like you always the goat. So, that way. yes, you know it. So have a great night. Thank you again. And next time I need to do my baddies because I'm always writing my notes. I down. got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> have a great night. Oh man, please hit that like button, y'all. Okay, what is going on, Micha? Co. Hi, Pierre. What's up? I just wanted to say, first off, um, Pierre, you're the international superstar. Not I'm the like, international superstar. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, I started watching the UK baddies, and I was just thinking about how um, you had the one caller from the UK, and I was like, you're going worldwide. Like, you're Natalie Nunn. Like, no, I, you, I'm going to start. We, we need to, uh, I think on Twitch, we're going to have to check out the UK baddies. Yes, that's, please, I heard that's Pierre. I, um, yes. I have an app where you could watch all the TV shows. I can hook you up. DM me, please. Up. Got you, got you. I got yeah. you, I got you. Okay, Um, hit me. I watch Mean Girls. I do not watch Making the Cast. I'm not really interested in that. Ooh. Yeah. Why does it turn you off? Because, like, even the whole premise of it, like, they had me, but then it was, like, not going to lie, a lot of that stuff be given, like, human trafficking or something, or sex trafficking. I don't know. <laughs> I said the same thing on my Discord. I, I was like, I'll I, I be feeling guilty watching making a cast because I feel yeah. like it's, it's young kids getting taken. Advantage. Yeah, it, it just gives weirdo stuff. So I didn't even want to see it. I'm a firm believer that if these people really want to put these people on, they're going to put them on. Like, they don't have to do all that. So I don't even want to see them go through that. And then Anya and Black is on there. And I love Black. I did stop into Twitch and I was watching Mean Girls, but I left him making the cast. But Black did look good 
black yes. look good. Anya did look good in her green screen, but it is like, dang, they gotta make the cast again. <laughs> That's what I said. I'm like, I gotta make it again. Like, damn, can I just make it one time? Um, but I'm with Mean Girls. Um, the last caller, I can't believe she said she liked the chocolate John and not Baby John because um, I actually love both of them, and I like the fact that they're real like Philly girls. Baby John is really from Philly. I used to follow her when I was in like high school. She used to go by like a different Instagram name, I think, and I think it was like Ivy Marie. I don't know if that's her or not, or if that's just someone else from Philly that looks exactly like her. But mm -hmm. um yeah, I just like them a lot. I love their personality. I love how they dress, how they talk. Like they the Philly Johns. Like right. no, I must say this. Uh, I said on my Twitch too. I feel like uh the Isaiah, all of them are pretty. Like all the cast on Mean Mean Girls is pretty. I will mm -hmm. say that. Even even the Paw Prince sisters, even yeah. though they don't look like how they look in a green screen, they they look right. cute in real life. They they are pretty. <laughs> they not ugly. They just definitely look different from their green screen. Yeah, for real, <laughs> like real bad. <laughs> now, what do you think about pressure as a host? Pressure as a host, <laughs> she be giving like <laughs> ditzy sometimes, like. She'd be like, so, you know, we have to have a conversation. She was like, yeah, I know you don't like me. I know you think I'm lame, but what are we going to do about it? Like, what's right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell y'all, she is a troll. When she sat there at that table, she said, so, like, we're going to move on because, like, this is trash. I'm yes, like, bro. What? I was like, girl, who are you? Like, she did not. <laughs> did you see her face after she said it? Shorty was shook. She was like, I know she did not just say right. that to you. Like. And did y'all peep how they always keep like the little sister on the camera and they never have the big sister on the yes. camera? Yes. <laughs> the cameraman is shady. Shady cameraman. Because I was like, you definitely could have had both of them. It was two chairs. <laughs> I peeped that too. But um, yeah, that part with um with Hillary and Jill fighting TTG. Yeah. It's sad because they're all four of them are very pretty, in my opinion. Yes. I would have liked it if none of them fought, but um, Raj be getting them girls. She be, she she be turning them up. Raj is like Monty. I want to yes. see when they do the next boxing match. I want to see Raj and Monty. But Raj is so pretty. I think Raj is prettier than um, Ball Out, but <laughs> um, they still cute, too. Ball Out is a cute, like, she gives, like, a hood girl from SAC that like beat you up and take your man. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, Ooh. I am a little scared of her. Like, yeah, but I love their duo. And I'm like, I did peep that, like, even in the first episode, or was it the second episode when they was talking and now that Stevie was feeding them pizza per usual? Um, Hillary and Hillary kept getting in, but I, I heard what you said about Jill. Jill, Jill, Jill just be serving the looks and just be trying to shut the fuck up. Uh, shut, be quiet, I meant. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I see what you said about Jill just want to sit there and be cute. Like, even with her wig taken off with her straight back and her cap, like, her she just sitting there eats. smiling. Her face eats. Like, Hillary Down. said, do you want my doctor? I'll, I'll give you her number. Girl, I want the doctor. I want the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> give me the number. <laughs> No, she looks good. She looks they good. You gotta give that good. to her. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Yes. And then um, I just who else? Did you peep the girl who is Asia's duo? They took her name out the um out the intro. Intro, yes, I did peep that. Yeah, why? That's weird. I haven't been keeping up with some of the Nottest TV T, but I, I gotta ask um, you know, my little sources and then yeah, figure but, out. Yeah, and I'm not on Instagram, so I don't keep up with a lot of stuff either no more, but I really only keep up with stuff on your channel. So I don't know it unless you tell me, but I no, did I'm gonna watch back on that because that I did her, notice that. I did watch her interview with um Liddy, and I will say, like, she's up in real life. Like you heard who she date, right? Who? Oh, did. you! Oh, yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes. The rapper. Yeah, so it's like yes. she, I feel like she she got her own motion. I feel like she's she she. I underestimated her. Like out of her duo, she's eating in her duo. Like she's serving her duo. Asia's taking notes now. Hopefully, she's 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 learning to be a little bit more quiet and just use those little looks because they'll get her further than that mouth and them hands. But the the duo that she brought with her. That girl is eating in real life, like outside of the show. I, it's so sad I can't remember her name because it's like after that situation, like she really just be chilling and looking cute. Like she's so cute and chocolatey. Like oh my god, yeah, fine, fine. Someone said it's Asia the one who eats butt. No, that's him. No. Right? oh, ooh. Wait, uh, which one? Which one? I know it was uh, out of the ill twins. Which one eats the booty? 
I heard it was Hillary. Hillary, yeah. See, that don't even sound like something Jill would do. Like Hillary just listen, Hillary gotta pay for that BBL one way or another. <laughs> oh, like you gotta eat the booty. What's supposed to happen next week? Who did Philly John supposed to fight? It looks like they're fighting the new girls that came in. With the one with the one with the Krishan ponytail. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't even peep. I thought did Avery and them come last this episode? I heard no, I think they're coming last minute. Oh, I was about to say somebody came in. That must be who those new people Drea are. is her name. Yes, Drea is her name. Drea is her name. Yes, yeah. you got it. Yep, Drea. I like Drea. I like right. Drea. I like TCG, especially Raj. I feel like out of the duos, it, it is. I, now that I think about it, when the last caller said what she said, out of the duos, it is that one person in the duo that eats more than the other person. Oh, and yeah, for say, sure. Yeah, out of, the, out of the ones that we talked about today, it's um, Jill, Raj. And now that I think about it again, even though Baby Doll is cute, I got to give it the chalk because chalk is just, yeah. Right. Now, I just wish, like I said, the show idea is cool and all, but y'all know, I say it's like the concept. Yeah, start, it don't make sense. The concepts don't, don't make sense. At this point, I just get to see pretty girls every now and then. And then, right. lo and behold, they got to fight. It's like Sasha Baddies with, with duos, but a little bit more high class with a little bit of bougie and pressure is the game. <laughs> and pressure is the host. Where did pressure SoCal the Barbie coming? That's who I want to see. Now, that's going to be funny. What did you think of the whole Playboy's? Cast cattle call release. I um yeah I I um I saw the picture of it on like Twitter or something um mm -hmm. and I just thought that was weird. I thought that was weird too. That was creepy. Like you couldn't come up with no other concept. It's like it y'all be giving me like y'all y'all got a mind up there and they be doing something because you peep how they did the the South Central Baddies reunion. Like it was like they were trying to do something right. So it's like okay they're getting somewhere, but then they give us this and it's like no. This is not what we wanted. Right. Not, this is not what we wanted. But like culturally and and historically, why did you think like we wanted like an to auction? Be... They could have said something like that's not. It you could have been that, that said auction. It could have been like um, dang, ooh, like a talent show or like a pageant or like I don't know, like it could have been a the mansion. Mm, yeah, like but I would have rather call, that, the, but an auction but is crazy. An auction is weird. That was very creepy. Um, and they just that kind of ties back into the like y'all, y'all not losing that that creepy factor that you're getting. So I like what you said earlier about like they're giving us a bunch of shows, but like at this point, it's not making sense no more. It's like, what is the point? It's I like overload. It's overload, what is the point? So hopefully, um, not even gonna lie, I I don't have Mean Girls is getting better though. I will say that I'm enjoying it. Mm, I mean, they have no house. Yeah. <laughs> what about the peer space? Like, <laughs> where the peer space was were you at? in the Twitch when I said that? Yes, <laughs> and I know what peer space said, is. The peer space. <laughs> it's like, dang girl, you putting them on blast. Like everybody didn't know that they was using peer space. I thought they was That's using what I said. too. Like, dang, not everybody about to be looking for y'all peer spaces. Like. No, for real. But um, <laughs> here, you're the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So are you? Oh, like All right, night. All right, y'all. There's some tea, y'all. Carly, oh Carly, I'm not even surprised at this. Carly Red shows off her now that's TV chain and likes comments about having her a new man. And it's not Mr. 1501. Sydney says, work sister with the not as TV chain in. Someone said, let me find out you messed up with Mr. Owner of now that's TV. She likes it. Someone said, is your man or T hot or is, is it, is he your man or T Hollywood's man? What's the tea? Carly, we all want to know. Someone commented again and said, is that Mr. Owner's chain? Mm. Someone in my comments said it might be Kilo Sway. It might be, okay? Carly might want some, some loving, more, more cushion for the pushing. Now, if she is that anti low, that is crazy. I know Big Lex is somewhere. Hate it! I'm not surprised though. Carly uh, tends to go for the. Lately, she's been going for the man of higher echelon. She goes now for the CEOs instead of the instead of the um, 
retired uh, rappers, such like a young jock or uh, I forget his name. You get what I'm saying? So she's going for the CEOs at this point. Do I feel like it'll last? Probably not. Carly's relationships usually never last. Um, sadly, um, I don't know if, you know, somebody put a curse on her hoo-ha or what, because it just never lasts. Her and Super Set are neck and neck for never keeping a nigga. Okay? But I want to see her make an appearance on that STV. She's messy enough. We can get, you know, maybe a dating show with those two together. Who knows? But I'm not surprised. They both live in ATL. Hey. Now, Bia, what you thinking? I think Carly needs to put that pussy down in a put that, casket. Put that, put that pussy down. Late to rest, girl. Give it up. We are tired. The cat is tired. It's not even purring anymore. It's just whining in the corner. Rory ho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. I'm tired. Like, Carly, give it a rest, please. Enough is enough. Like, and the girls from the Mint need to jump her because how she get the 10K in the chain before they did? Still no reunion, but Carly got the 10K in the chain. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> No, they done took the chain for Jessica Dye, girl. They gave it a I'm Carly. telling you, Carly be sliding in like a thief in the night if there's a little bit of clout left over for her. All she needs is a crumb. A little dab will do her. It's just, I don't know. Hang it up, girly. I want her to find her a nice man. Maybe, hmm, let me see, a janitor with a pension. You know, maybe a bus driver who works for the city. Because they'll retire, they can put her up in a nice little three bedroom, two bath cottage, settle down, real cute, and and for her to just stop chasing this life, it's not. Mm, it's only so many times the doctor don't let her snatch that face back. I want her to just age out gracefully and beautifully, like she is. Like seeing this in real time, it's sad. I ain't gonna lie to but you. But you wouldn't want to see Carly Red make an appearance on no. <laughs> To do what? Like, what she kind of said? Oh, Carly. <laughs> like that's my thing. Like, what is she going to be there to do? Like, what would, what purpose would Carly Red of all people serve to now that's TV? She can't rap. The girls ain't gonna respect her. If anything, they're gonna fight her because that's gonna give them a moment. Like, what is she there to do? She can't teach the mint or not the mint the uh the academy. We can't use her as an example. So. And that's me talking about what not to do with your BBL. I don't know what Carly <laughs> is supposed to do there. She needs to just let leave that little two thousand dollar check on the table that they offered it to her at, and move on with her life. Cause I don't like that for us. Mm. But on to these girlies. Mm. So here's the thing, right? Now mm. that TV is beating Zeus in the sense of the quantity of shows that they have, yes. but it starts to feel oversaturated because all of them have the same premise, which is no premise. It's like, there's no plot. <laughs> um, like, well, Justin said, it's quantity. No, it's like, quality, not quantity. <laughs> I need to find that clip. I've been looking it's for so it everywhere. Bad. Like we get four hours of just fights, but with different episodes or titles. Like, and that's cool, but if y'all going to do that, at least break it up. Give us a Sunday, Wednesday kind of vibe. And I'm going to tell them again, because I said it before, at least break it up. Because if now that TV was really bad about it, they would have dropped that Young and Reckless reunion on Sunday. Because they know the girls was waiting for it. And they could have really seen how they was pairing up against Zeus. Mm. But that I see people complaining about the app, too. And I hate it. Like that I hate app, it. You know... We Someone. talked about it on Twitch. Like I said, it's not their fault. I'll give them that. Right. Uh, you know, Mr. Lemmy Pepper, he's a businessman. So right. he's an aggressive businessman. He said, nigga, I don't want you on my platform. We're not going to use the same app platform, nigga. 
And I guess he bought them out. I don't know. But he did something to where they're no longer on that app platform. Now that's why he had to build not a CV Plus. Okay. So this whole update and a new app, they weren't, they didn't do that by will. It was done by force. He said Which it himself. Terrible because let me shouldn't be preaching nothing about unity and uplift the black people if you're monopolizing content on a streaming platform. Like, please go to the furthest pits of hell. And not only that, but we have all of these genius little IT kids running around here. We used to code for MySpace back when we were teenagers. Like, somebody can build a platform or at least tweak a platform for them. That whole comment thing, oh, no. Get very it irritating. It's very, very irritating. Like, I can't even, even when I'm casting it to my TV, the minute I leave the app, I'm leaving the show. And I'm like, what is this? Like, who wants to be sitting here staring at a screen like this? Nobody. It makes it very, very hard to watch. Now, on to the bad boys auditions. I just want to know why. Like, what's be going through people's heads? Like, you're not even guaranteed to get picked, let alone seen. But you out here fighting for your life. You getting turned every way but loose. Blood coming out your ears damn near. For what? $1,500 and four days of filming if you get picked? Otherwise, you just the special of the week? Mm -mm. I will say though that I was very pleased to see Cash get put on his ass several times. I'm not gonna <laughs> cap like any any person who be out here spitting and leaving shit in a bag. You are listen. Whatever they do with you is what they do with you, okay? And I know he felt humbled. I know he did because you really thought you were that guy because you shaped like Gumby and you're not like. You getting humbled by twelve year olds basically because that's Isaiah's target audience. Like that's very embarrassing <laughs> for him. But I love he yells at twelve year olds. <laughs> <laughs> like, Isaiah's target our audience is like the ripe age of sixteen to nineteen. Like so, where like their frontal cranium, their frontal lobe ain't even all the way developed yet. That's the sweet spot because they're dumb enough to do anything for the clout. And that is exactly what Now That's TV wants. They don't want anybody who's going to be like, nah, I'm too grown for this. We they don't want a Mima. Word. <laughs> I don't know how Mima got in, girl. Did you sneak through the back door? <laughs> right. Like, who she knew? Or who did she screw? Because, baby, you is, you is not for Now That's she had that stuff to the back door. That's what she At could all. Do She much listen. She said she lived ten minutes down the road. Somebody probably saw her up in a Wawa and was like, "Yeah, she'll look good on the show." But they didn't know that that lady's really like grown and sexy type. Like she's not out here crashing out because somebody cut her in line. Like that's crazy. Like those auditions were so pointless in a sense. Sarah being there. Why did William show up like a Jabberwocky? What was that? <laughs> I'm gonna clip this and send it to him. <laughs> not a Jabberwocky, not America's Best Dance because, Crew. Bitch, like, bye. <laughs> what was that? Like you came up in a mask and a cape, a robe for what? Like this is not your boxing debut, just for Mega Mind to be there and try to like come on, get the. Mm. I'm, they're gonna call me a colorist if I start complaining about the white gaze. But let me, <laughs> Mega Mind of all people was the person who was trying to pop on him. Are you crazy? <sighs> Leftovers. It was like the Zeus garbage truck was riding down the street, and they saw now that's TV cameras. And William and Mega Mind jumped off and was like, "Now's my time to maybe shine." And it wasn't. It was weak. You did nothing. Yes, will give us nothing. Safari. Why is he there? He must have just been around there in Atlanta. Somebody saw him at the Wawa too, I guess. The same strip club Mima was at. They must have ran to Safari and was like, yo, we'll give you $2,000 if you show up and do nothing. And he did. He said, shrimp! <laughs> <laughs> what was he there for? <laughs> he went right over. <laughs> also, Ant is not beating them gay allegations at all. And all you gotta do is look at him to tell. Like, baby, <sighs> I know who now, you I are. will say this though. I didn't like the fact that Nosh hit him. Because at that point in time in that scene, he wasn't bothering her. I don't it was I am a firm believer that women should keep their hands to themselves when it comes to men because all it takes is one little reaction that they don't have, like a little just quick reflex, and you can be put on your ass. And then you're gonna be screaming crying for my brother's cousin uncles. 
and that's not what we want. I don't know why Nas was there to begin with, to be honest. Like, what was she? What was she supposed to be there for? How are you there and Dawn not? Like, what is happening? What was the reason? You when didn't know. Coming... Nas is the Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> Dawn was young and reckless. <laughs> they accidentally got a swap of bitch. I just don't understand. Like, it was just a day of chaos. Like, all of that fighting. You got Max snatching the mic. The kid, the kid who threw that mic at that dude had perfect aim. Go try out for a team. Like, get off this network. They're, this is not a good place for you. This is not a safe space. And then they ended it with, like, two episodes. And I was like, well, there wasn't a conclusion that I peeped. I don't know. But that's per now. That's TV usuals. Um, what what else was it? Um, mean mean girls. girls. Mm, okay, so here's the thing. I that's agree <laughs> with everything that Jill was saying about pressure. I'm not gonna cap to you. If you ask me, they could just make Jill the next host of uh, Young and Reckless because she's fine. She's fun yeah. to look at. Or make Raj it because she's young and she's reckless. Like, but pressure was not given. And that's the thing. Like, especially as a host, you are held to a higher standard than everybody else. And on top of that, pressure never gave host. And I mean this with all respect. The pressure was never like someone who we would see on the television and be like, yeah, she probably put that pussy down. She out here dripped up, draped out. Like, she's giving boss b no pressure was giving i did seven years in the county and she just needed a little money it never gave let's host a, a house full of bad you know bad bees and she gonna really be able to wrangle them like that like it never gave that so watching her basically instigate every single fight like that's the girl's job you're not cats especially because jill wasn't lying you couldn't you really now. Have... she beat you up she i'm telling you, up. you <laughs> couldn't really hang with Draco like that. So it's like, what you what you coming at me for? What did I do? That's what I want to know. Also, by the way, fighting in Chick-fil-A is a guaranteed seat in hell. Do not be fighting in God's kitchen. I do not <laughs> like it. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I said on my Twitch, if it was the Playboys, they would have got arrested. I'm telling you. and They, they would have been like, oh my God, we have these gay men in our... <laughs> They need to get arrested. I'm not even going to cap to you because Chick-fil-A got the good ice. Do not be tussling over my Polynesian. Like, do not play with me like that. Y'all need to take it outside. Who was that Johnny Blaze when they interrupted her studio session? I love it. Take, take it, it outside. outside. Take I said, it. take it outside, Rich. Take it outside. Because what's wrong with y'all? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> She was livid. Johnny Blaze said, I'm going zero to 100 nigga real quick. <laughs> listen, and listen, because it needed to be done. Like, why would production drop them off and then leave in the sprinter? These girls are animals. What are you doing? <laughs> what do you mean? Now, do the do do the ill twins probably be complaining a lot? Maybe, but it might just also they might just also be a little bougie and TTG not used to that. Low key. Because I didn't hear any complaints, per se. Shade, mm. yes. But complaints, not really. I mean, if you cast me and bring me to the kitchen talking about, okay, y'all, let's all go eat. And it's Papa John's, I'm going to complain. They come Pressure back. said, the mean girls are going to have dinner. Like, she did it up. Like, it was something like, okay, y'all, everybody go get ready, get dressed, you know, shower up, get ready for dinner. We're all going to meet up for dinner. If you bring me downstairs and there is the the John's of Papa, I'm going to flip one of them boxes because what's wrong with you? Like, do you hate us? Why are you treating us like animals? I don't like that. So I get why they probably was being a little shady by that because I would have to. I'm not going to lie. Somebody would have had to give me my phone like Nima and we would have got some Popeyes or something. But that wasn't going to go. Um, I do feel low-key bad for Ball Out because... You can tell that the dynamic with her and her sister is that she's so used to having to beat girls up because her sister do not know how to just zip her right. lips for anybody. She's like, oh my God, like, we're like, going to fight again. I like that's how I, and it's like, I recognize it so bad because to a certain extent that was me. And it's a lot of girls where it's like, the minute you hear your sister going off, 
you might as well just get up because you know she's not going to shut up and it's just going to eventually lead to a fight. Mind you, she only like five, two. Um, again, Jill's that girl. I'm sorry. With the bull cap on the face was still giving. Like, I don't... Yeah. For sure. I have to put a little bit of respect on her name for that. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I'm going to give that to her. I did see that Hillary changed her profile picture on Instagram to... Uh, Ball out black eye, and I cackled about that last night while I was busy, bored, doom scrolling. Um, but Raj, I don't. Who's your favorite Raj, duo of the of the series? Um, I think that this is gonna be a waste. I feel like the girls all left. Like, well, what was the point of that? Especially because why bring Vanilla Ice by herself if this is a cast of duos? Like, that's, you're already setting it up. Like, what's supposed her... to be Mean Girls. She's Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> <laughs> Not with the pocket pooch. Like, I don't know. I think that TTG is the only ones making themselves, like, make some noise, y'all. What the F? Like, they're the ones who are really standing out because they're the ones who are in every scene, which sucks to suck for the other girls. Chalk is fine. Um, the other one got them chest tattoos and I don't trust girls with those. So that's all I got on that. What else was on that network? I feel like I watched Let's everything. Let's talk making this series. Have you been tuning in? Oh, God. Another one. Um, so, again, why are we fighting and we're not even casted? What are we here for? Like, now that TV has damn near mastered the art of finesse. Oh, it yes. To making these people <laughs> I actually applauded. I'm like, damn, bitch. I should have thought of this crap. I would have been rich. That is so smart. Like, look, we want to have y'all When show I tell up. you finesse like no other, it's not even I'm funny. You. Like, it's so bad. Because it's like to be like, oh, well, we want to see how y'all would mesh or vibe. That's what having psychiatrists and legitimate producers are for. They can tell you who will mesh and who will. How do we think that BGC was so successful? Because they knew in advance through the sh right through, through the, the process that they did. <laughs> like, okay, this person's gonna make that person tick. This person won't mesh well with them. We're just gonna make them roommates. We're gonna make them show up together so they can get along for the first two days until they realize they hate each other. Boom, drama. Instead, now that TV is like, all right, everyone from 16 to 22, come on over here. We're gonna sprinkle onion, who's at least 44, and you can't convince me otherwise. To just come and mix it up, which by the way, she needs AA. Like it's really embarrassing at this point. Like <laughs> super freaky grandma is doing too much. Like, and I ain't gonna cap. When he hit her with the you got a kindergarten hairstyle on, I cackled because it was giving pack hair and you just had no other resort. I don't like it. She looks much better in the confessional with the side part sewing. That's a much more mature look for her. Um, like I said in the in the uh Twitch, dad looked like Trinidad James. I think. Is that why they call her dad? Yes. Shitty dad? Huh. She's father. She is son now, after what Anga did to her upstairs. Um, watching Ghana take Onion's um, dad's fade. Anya didn't have garlic to take her fade. That's not fair. If we're going to be putting things in the blender, let's put everything in the blender. I don't like that. I was cracking up when you was mentioning the Caucasian security guards. I just want to remind you that they are in Lovecraft Country down there. Ain't nothing but them, them, them ones down there who be hog tying. So you know they was happy to wrangle a few n words, right? <laughs> They're like, oh my god, these damn things are all more <laughs> reckless than the Moors. <laughs> I do think that um, Phil is by. I ain't gonna cap. He especially because you he. Think so? I think so. He was down to do the two man with Samia in the shower. Come on now. What's mm. mm -hmm. and he'd be sitting in the confessionals next to Asia looking like her little gay bestie. Yeah, he like a little diddle on the side, and I get it. Me too, Boogie. Um, the twins. Listen, um, I think both of them is doing the bending. I ain't gonna cap. Oh but, man, <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't even gonna lie. Q, I would absolutely like you said, like to see him by himself to see if he's really like that when he doesn't have the comfort of knowing he got a sidekick next to him at all times because it gave annoying. I'm not going to lie to you. Like he definitely is someone who don't know how to shut up. And then you got 
super dad over here chiming in like oh, i'm gonna take the fade for him girl sit down like you always got something to say be quiet go fix your shoulder um the girl with the blue hair send her home just how you why <laughs> Hairstylist and makeup artist, but the hair is trash and the makeup is trash. Get out of my face with the mermaid eyebrows and the unplugged lace. Like it's like she just sat it on her head, shook it and went. Don't be on here talking about oh I'm this and I'm that, but you're not giving us the look. Like you, if this is an opportunity for you to promote yourself and promote your brand, you need to be that brand at all times. They're not giving us their brand to be like oh I'm an influencer. Are you? What do you influence? What? What? Because all I see is a Von Dutch hat and a Shein skirt. Like, where's the influence? What are we giving? They're giving us nothing. But again, shout out to Nada TV because they got them acting a fool in that cabin for the hope of being casted on a show. Right. Like, what's the prize? You get to go to South Central, baddie? <laughs> like, what? So you I beat know. up more. <laughs> You all win. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Asia shouldn't be there. I think that she's. You are right though about the finesse of it all. Like it's, I'm, such like, it's so smart. It's so like they smart. took Zeus auditions and was like, "How can we make this worse?" And they were like, "Look, we're just gonna have them." The like, a lot of these people were from that um audition thing that they had with the modeling right. agency. So it was like, okay, how can we take them? Put them in a show without putting them on a show and still win. And Blog May up there in the eating his breakfast, his brunch in the bedroom. They exiled him. Him and that big burly boy who got turned every way but loose. Where did he go? <laughs> they slave went into the woods. <laughs> He's a thirsty bear. With the bears. <laughs> Any final I mean, thoughts, me? <laughs> oh, no, that's it for me. Everybody <laughs> like the video. I'm going to start cooking y'all in the comments. Love you. Bye. All right, make sure y'all please hit that like button now. Okay. If I get you like a uh, Barbie. Hold on. Where my clip at? Damn it. <laughs> that smoke you want, you just lit up that blunt, bitch. Because on my stove, bitch, I'm puffing it. Bitch. So, yeah. All right, what's going on, Kaya? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm sorry, I was laughing at Bia. <laughs> <laughs> oh my they god! They went into the woods, child. They went, he went into the woods. Oh, where was that big ass dude? Because he was nowhere seen this episode. Daquan, that's his name. I don't know his name. <laughs> like I said, I haven't been paying attention, sadly. To the not as TV girlies like I used to. Okay. Now, what do you think of uh the series and episode so far? Uh so first I'll start making the cast because honestly, I understand from what I heard, they only lasted two days. So they that's why they stretching out so many seeds. I'm like, this was a filler because it seemed like it's a lot of action next week. But you know, when you have two days, like what much can you do? But <laughs> I'm Child, they got Zoe acting up. He said, "I'm gonna show you who the real King Ma is." I was yeah. like, "Oh, but y'all can't be, y'all can't be in here disrespecting the people that brought y'all here." That's what I will say. Right. I can see if this was Isaiah because you know Isaiah slick at the mouth, but this is Zoe. Zoe really don't be doing that. Zoe just be chilling. I be chilling like KP say. <laughs> but um, I really cannot stand that. And it was her lying in those confessionals talking about she beat Anya up. I said, "Baby, where?" Because you didn't I hate when rally stars do that. They lie in the confessional acting as if we can't see what you just said. I'm like, can they? Because uh, I've never been in like a confessional. So can they watch the clips again or they just get asked questions? Because it's like. Okay, so how they do usually a confessional, like they'll, they'll, they have these things called producer notes. So they'll write down these notes of each scene, what happened, and they'll ask you questions on the scene. They're like, oh, so how did you feel when you fought Anya? Uh, do you think you want to fight against Anya? How do you feel about Anya fighting such and such? They're not watching it. Oh, okay. so you really have to recollect. Oh yeah, I thought they were like watching the clip and then they reacted to. It. I said you cannot be sitting here watching that clip thinking that you really beat Anya up, girl, because they kept replaying it. It's like, girl, you cannot fight. And this is my thing. Okay, um, I don't know. They business is dad is giving that she met up with Q before the show. 
and they got a little freaky in the hotel room they were staying at. Oh, you think she put the LGBT in his queue? Yeah, because it's like oh. this is my thing. It's it cannot be that you just met this guy twelve hours. Ago. All y'all just met each other twelve hours ago. Now I don't know. Some of them didn't know each other before, so I don't know. But to us, it's making it like you guys are a bunch of nobodies, and y'all just got in the house. Y'all just met each other twelve hours ago. You hadn't even been in the house for twenty four hours because you spent the first half of the episode on a road trip, and then y'all spent the night in the house. So literally twelve hours ago, you just met Q, and all of a sudden you jumping up into his fights. And this no, 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 nah, you forgetting something. What? The group chat. But yeah, that's but that's the group chat. We ain't meeting each other face to face. But the group chats is where the friendships is formed. That's where the beef is formed. Let's just be honest. The, <laughs> the, <laughs> the group chat is when people going, oh, okay, I'm going to fight you. When we get in this house, it's on site. That's what that group chat is for. Right, right, Not right. Really bonds i ain't never seen a group chat build bonds that's that's just me but like what is showing to us on screen is that y'all just met each other literally 12 hours ago so it isn't it is no point for you jumping up and trying to get it's, and it's only with q i know she does it for zavo as well but it seemed like it's only with q because when q was fighting big boy she went and snuck a hit in and it's like what was the point of you doing that you just being weird that's now, what i didn't like the fact that she did that because had they turn around and hit her they would be wrong yeah, if he had turned around and put his hands on you, he would have been in the wrong. That's why right. it's just better for women not to put their hands on men. Like what Barbie said, and you know, Tasha K was reading her down for filth. She said, just keep your hands away from each other. Blue face Barbie, not uh, SoCal Barbie. Right. On my soul, not not that <laughs> Barbie. Right. <laughs> but, no, I agree. I agree 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, but she, yeah, she I, I really thought I was going to like Dad because, you know, that's a unique kind of name. I said, mm, she seemed like a cool girl. After at the last episode and this episode, it changed my mind. I do not like her. She is so annoying. And they can watch them put her on now that TV show. I don't know what show they would put her on, but watch them put on her on the put her on the show. We need to put that on sausage or baddies. Girl, she he she gonna get turned everywhere. <laughs> exactly. She's gonna be like she gonna be like Cash. I need I need Billy to fight her. Oh, <laughs> Billy would hurt her with a flick of a thumb. <laughs> so because. Do you okay? This is me. Do you think dad can fight, or you think her her skills are just weak? Because it looked like she just had her head down and she was just swinging at air. For what it looked like, it didn't look like she could fight at all in regards to the whole Anya situation. Okay, so if she got into a fight with Hood Baby, who would win? Hood Baby. <laughs> Y'all be underestimating Hood Baby just because she took a couple of L's. Hood Baby just isn't scared to fight anybody. So the L's that she took is because the people that she's tried to challenge can really fight, fight for real, for real. So she ends up getting her ass whipped a lot because she's she on air. To China. Right. China can't even fight. That's sad. But yeah, that, yeah, but I said, but yeah, she is annoying, but she's getting her face out there. We talking about her. So I did, and we have yet to hear from the girl. The girl with the uh blue hair and the other girl with the blue eyebrows. I, I, I forgot their names because they've been so irrelevant. So she's getting her face out there. So watch them pull her out and they're gonna put her on now that TV show. They might put her on South Central Baddies. I don't know, I don't remember where she said she was from, but who, you don't have to be from South Central to be from South Central Baddies, as we known for last season. So I guess they put on there. Can't stand the twins. I can't stand them, but I know, but I can't lie, they are good TV. And I, I already know they're gonna put them on Playboys. With both of them on Playboys together in a house full of guys, I'm interested to see that because they talking about they straight. I don't know too many straight guys that act like that. Maybe. <laughs> Wait, so was I was it wrong when I said that they I seen it on a blog somewhere? I did. I thought that they. I thought they were. If not gay, I I I didn't think they were straight though when I first met them because you saw how they were acting on the first episode. I don't know too many straight guys that act like that. No, but I'm saying, like, I seen it on a blog somewhere that they both said that they were straight on a blog somewhere. I a blog that reposted yeah. that. Oh, no, I didn't see that. I just, I'm the first time I'm hearing it was I when I watched you on Twitch. I thought they, I didn't think they were straight. So I was surprised when I heard that myself. I, I laughed. I said, you can't be serious. <laughs> now, what do you think of me, girls? It's getting better. Uh, it, it, it is. It, it's kind of given, like, how Young and Reckless was, how it had that slow built. But I think right. it's young and reckless. It took them by like episode four or five to finally build it up. But I'm really liking it. I really, I really love TTG. They're my favorite. I don't know. I know you guys like uh, 
what's them what the, what their names uh choco pretty and johns. pretty johns i'm sorry i, I don't be remembering their names i'm sorry because some of them don't even talk so yeah i don't i don't know how i feel about them i don't know how i feel but we're gonna see next week but I, I just really don't know how i feel you know they just pop in here and there but i really i love raj now they they gonna put her on another now that's tv show they better put her on the academy not the academy hmm. I don't know what or Young and Reckless. She can be on one of those shows. I need Raj to used to be on Young Reckless for sure. Yeah, I because any I, and I always said uh, Raj reminded me of somebody on Not a TV, and I couldn't put my finger on it. And then you said Monty. That's exactly who she kind of gives me. She gives me Monty vibes. Right. It's so little, you but Raj on Young and Reckless and Pressure Cities. <laughs> <laughs> they both need to get casted. Them, them, sorry, Terrence. Them, them titties are because okay. This is my thing, Pressure. You know you have to wear a bra to secure them titties, right? You keep not wearing a bra, that's what makes them sag even more. Like, girl, <laughs> like pressure, like that's the. And I, I was right. Pressure should not have been a host of this show. It's I, I can see where she's trying to do. She's but giving us a key, though. That's the thing. <laughs> she's giving us a key, but she ain't. But she's, but she's taking it to the. She's taking it a little too far. Like I can see her, like because she's kind of doing what Natalie be doing behind the scenes. But she's doing it right in front of the camera. Because you know how Natalie be like, come on, girls, let's not fight. Right. But the behind the scenes, she's like putting stuff, bugs in people's ear. Pressure's doing that, but she's doing it in front of the camera. But she's taking it too far. Like when Raj and uh, Ball Out fought the two girls, the ill twins, they fought in Chick-fil-A. You wasn't there to see that. Obviously, I don't know where she was. Then they fought. You just saw them fight again. And why do you got to keep asking them? You guys are good. Do you guys got an issue? Y'all want to keep going? It's like, but the thing is, I can understand. She her. want that. She uh, want that. She want that. I can see her asking it one time, but the thing is, she kept asking them over and over and over again. It's like pressure. Shut up. It's like they don't want to fight no more. You see, what's the face got that wig on? That wig was killing me. Now, that <laughs> wig was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> they said she don't have no edges. That's why she kept trying to cover it up. And I, because um, I think it was Ball Out who like posted a screenshot of her with the wig, and the wig showed that she didn't have any edges. That's why she didn't want to um be seen without a wig because she didn't want to get read down. But babe, we gonna read you down because that you the way you just had that wig sitting on top of your head. Why didn't you just put on a hood or a cap or something? You didn't have that. Mm. Yeah, and poor. Why did I don't understand? What was the point of them bringing Vanilla and her not having a duo? Like, what was the point of them bringing her? If you watched the movie Mean Girls, Lindsay was the was the outcast. Yeah, but she ain't no Lindsay Lohan. That's the thing. Lindsay Lohan's an icon. I don't know who this girl is. I thought that when I saw her, I said, she gives me whoa. She like whoa, Vicky little cousin because she kind of talked like her and she kind of a little bit. Her. I see. No, I, a, a more sane version. Mm, yeah, she is like a more same where she ain't talking about God every five seconds, so I'll give her that. But I don't know how I feel about her, but I do like Bila and I do like my mom, but I really love TTG. Honestly, this is their show. It's the TTG show. I'm really interested to see Ivory come in. I don't know when she's coming in, and I need them putting them girls in the house. They over here fighting at the Motel 6. I mean, what is this? I'm not staying at no Motel 6. They got bed bugs and everything. Ew. And why, how did they get kicked out? That You put up a good point, Pierre. How did they get kicked out of that house when that house was up in the hills and they were secluded from everything? That's what I said. I, I need somebody to comment that below because that was crazy. I don't know if the, the, the deposit didn't go fully through or what, but that was crazy to me because it didn't look like there was no I, house across the street, no nothing. Yeah, that was a, yeah, cause like, yeah, because you said South Central Baddies, they were in a neighborhood and with the neighbors and you tell and they was yelling stuff out at night and you tell me they never got kicked out i don't know if just the the area they were in was just ratchet and they didn't right. but you telling me that this place because that house was so nice that was so nice it gave me that I was one of the nicest houses they had yeah they get it gave like the editing on the shows was, is giving me bad girls five plus i love money vibe because the house gave me i love money vibe but the editing is giving me I love money, flavor of love, and bad girls club. So that's why I'm really getting into it. But yeah, I'm starting to come around to it. I just need uh, I need more of them girls in that house to give me more because I'm 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 tired of it just being about TTG, even though I love them. But they can't be carrying the show all by themselves. Um, it doesn't seem like Dre. I don't know their names, but Dre, the girl that looks like Diamond the Body, she does yeah. come like Diamond, especially when the wig come off in them straight back. She looks just like Diamond, but she's beautiful too. I love her. But Asia. Mm -mm. It's like I like the the duos. I like one of them, but I don't like the other half. Like I don't like Asia, and I don't like Hillary, and um, 
I don't like uh the paw prints. I don't like them at all. They can go on home. The paw prints. Yeah. Oh, we're but you wasn't on last week, and I couldn't talk about this with you. I wanted to talk yes. about uh, about the South Central Betty's uh reunion, cancel reunion, and what Cash was saying. What had me cracking up when she got out the car, and she was like, "Check it out. Tell the bitches check it out." Hey, yo, Billy, Billy, check it out. I like what does check it out mean? Is that like a South Central Betty's thing? <laughs> I don't know. It also, I, I asked my Twitch uh, watchers this: that wanted sign for Billy. Is that real or is that fake? <laughs> I th- didn't they say it was fake? <laughs> Please, in the comments down below, let me know if that that poster is real for Billy, because that's crazy if it is. Wait, do you remember how Billy was? Because um, after the reunion, and then Cash went and pulled up on Billy. You saw how Billy was running after her. Yeah. Whenever Billy runs after. <laughs> I really hope that's not real, y'all. Any final thoughts, Kaya? Um, I'm 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 starting to slowly enjoy it, making the cast. They need to do a little bit better. But lastly, the Playboys audition was a hot mess. But I saw that poster, this auction. I don't know what that is. What is this auction? And but I see they have that boy on there, the one that was like, "I'm a father out here. I'm a father out here." And they did the father. He didn't end up going. Apparently, I seen he that on the blog somewhere. Yeah, he was kind of cute though. But he was talking about my father. My father's like, okay, we don't care if you're a father. It's not <laughs> what the hell. But I'm very interested to see Playboys. Uh, hopefully, they won't QR on there because you know what? I don't like them, but they're gonna give us entertainment. Yeah, they're gonna give us good TV for sure. I'm so ready for the Young and Reckless reunion. I'm so ready for that. So ready for it. Right. And yeah, I think that's all I gotta say. So everyone, like this video on Pierre. You have a really good night. All right, you too. Thank you, Nae. All right, Carly. Uh oh, shit. Oops. My bad. Did y'all hear that? Can you Hello? hear me? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, awesome. My name's Kari. Um, by Kari. Okay, my bad. My bad. I read it as no. Kari. <laughs> no, it's good. Hi. I've been just a little background listener for a minute, but I wanted to come up today um, and give my little thoughts because. I just want to get my thoughts. I really ain't got no reason. I don't know why I said because. Anyway, um, what do you want to start off talking about? First, let's start off with Mean Girls. What do you think of the show? Um, I actually like Mean Girls. A lot of people say they don't like it. And I think it's because of the editing. Like, that whole confessional in the dark type thing that throws the entire vibe off. You know what I mean? Like, it brings it it down. Like, throw some light up in that bitch. Like, I don't know why I feel like the editing it. makes it better. I don't know. It's like... What is it called? Like the lighting. That's a part of editing, right? No, like- not not necessarily. Because, okay, the reason why it's not, because if it's, basically when they set the scenes and the confessionals up, if it's not set up correctly, there's only so much editing can do. Okay. I've so noticed because then- I've edited videos and stuff before. So it's like, there's only so much you can do when it comes to certain stuff. Then maybe it's a production thing. Right. Like just some of the some of the places that they're at seem very low class to me, and I think that's why people don't like the show because it seems like just low class. Like the budget is just like really not there. Even though, like, like the little warehouse thing, like the the way they were doing that photo shoot, like that right. seems so cheap. You know what I mean? Like it just y'all just got them walking out of this warehouse walking through this hallway that y'all didn't put some, I don't know. It just seemed real. It just seemed real dingy to me. Okay. And the girls are cute, but some of them are like rough looking already. Like my, my and Bila, like they're real rough looking. So when you have them in a dirty, dingy area, it just not good in my <laughs> personal opinion. Um, Who's your favorite duo out of the girlies? Obviously, it's TCG. They're the only duo name that I remember and can put a face to. Like, I remember the other duo names, but I don't remember who they belong to. You know what I mean? Right, right. Um, I just now, like, literally as of today, watching it on Twitch with you guys, now I know the name of each duo. Before then, I wouldn't be able to tell you nothing. (laughs) I know three duo names. TTG, Paw Prince, and Ill Twins. But I don't know who they are. Ill Twins is Hillary and um, the other her, uh, 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 and, and Jill. Uh, Paw Prince is, of course, the girls who fought pressure. Uh, two of a kind is Bila and Mai Mai. And uh, TTG is the girls that's like the main stars. 
And Logic. the other one, I don't know the name of theirs. Oh, See. Pretty Johnson's the Philly Girls. And like I said, the other one, I don't know the name of theirs. See, I know Chalk from Philly Johns, right? She's from right. Philly Johns, right? I know, I know Chalk, and that's just because she's fine as hell. I I I just think she's very beautiful. Yeah, but I don't cool. know her duo's name. Um, well, I know it now, but I don't know her like her partner. I don't know her sister, her cousin. I don't know. Baby. Like, yeah, that's that girl. I, that okay. So I thought the girl child. I don't. Okay, listen. <laughs> listen. listen. <laughs> Oh, Give us two more episodes. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. See, no, it's not even the episodes. It's the fact that when you watch, it really is the Raj and Ball Out show because the cameras really right. follow them. And whoever is beefing with them, like, that's who gets, like, the shine. Like, okay, so we had, T I mean, not TTG, but what's their name? Paw Prince? We had Paw oh. Prince and Pressure and all that for a second. And, you know, so that brought Bila in them. Into Which, by the way, I'm getting... I'm getting tired of Bila in my mind just standing behind pressure like her paid security guards. Like, that is really annoying. Are y'all there to be a duo or are y'all there to be her backup? Are y'all like the piss? It's a trio. Like, for real, for real. No, no, no. What What is it called? Like, what? No, because her, her her little titties are involved. It's five of them. What's that? Octagon? It's a, what, what, no. what, are, what are they? <laughs> Because you got to add some boobs in it, okay? But, yeah, I can't even remember what I was saying. Because I, I had a lot to say about them. Oh, y'all was talking about whether or not Pressure is a good host. So, I think Pressure... Because if you'll notice in the beginning, it says co-host. Right. She's supposed to be there with somebody. Who is... With Barbie. But Barbie was filming a show at the time, so she couldn't be there at the beginning. See, no, see, they needed to have somebody else with there with her like they were originally intended because she is a good co-host she's not a good all-around host she's good to be on tv being messy i don't mind that she, she said what she said she said she dropped you dropped him you let her drop you you let her drop you you let her drop if i'm sitting there on the ground with my wig off and i know they just have to peel this a hundred that poor hillary <laughs> was probably pissed like I would be mad. Yes, I would want to fight as well. Okay, but also like pressure is a key. I think she is a key. Like I don't. It's crazy because I didn't like her on South Central Baddies because like when, pressure when she's trying to be like that rough and tough girl. Like no, like you're you're not that. You're jokes. You're a clown. You you put that red nose on. You put on that little puffy dingy wig, and you let them titty sag, and you tell jokes. That's what you do. But like being that tough girl, that's not you, pressure. That's not you. So I think she's a good co-host for sure. For sure. Who do you think she should be co-hosting with? Mm. God. Ooh, let me think. Well, I you thought you were saying God. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no. saying that shady as hell. No, I am not putting the Lord and Savior I'm in saying, this mess. She needs that much help. God needs to be there. <laughs> listen, maybe maybe a little, a few angels to guide her on her way and towards Elaine Bryant so she can get a bra, but not to help her. I think Barbie actually would have been a good idea. Barbie actually would have been good. Or like, I don't know. I, I want to say Kenzie. But I think Kenzie still has a few, a little bit more work to do. But I think if they gave Kenzie a job, like on, like on the South Central Baddies reunion, when you as give her something, huh? As a police officer and stuff like that. When Kenzie. you give her something to do, she can follow through on it for sure, for sure. I think so. Personally, in my opinion. So I think, I don't know. I think one of the girls, one of the girls one of the girls but barbie definitely would have been the best bet because i don't see because ferrari ferrari would have been disappearing and then popping up every three to five 20 minutes from being on her knees time some what's going on what's happening so that wouldn't have been a good nod we'll nod would have been not girl listen to me I, we're not talking about young and reckless but every that girl was <laughs> lost in ditzy and in the mud okay you just knew she was somewhere putting that coochie down the way she just kept disappearing and popping up what's Legacy, going on what's tea what's tea i'm gonna need y'all to run that back i'm gonna need y'all to run that back like no girl you can run it back on your tv when you watch it like uh, -uh. but um yeah i think i think i think that's that's i think 
Stop what about making right. the series? What do you think of the whole situation? Uh, this that whole series. That's why I wanted to come up here because listen to me, Dad. If you that want a train ticket so bad, she wants a train ticket so bad. Okay, and for a minute, I thought those boys were very, very much on the other side. But now the way those girls are, I they they are they are going into a home, putting keys in a bowl, and just picking out keys and then stumbling to rooms. Okay, because I think it's some coochie licking and some sucking going on. How you want to fight for him that bad? You don't even know him. Oh, you think Q and Dad had a, a thing? I th I think I think Dad wanted a train ticket. I think if they didn't have a thing, uh, she wanted a train ticket. She wanted a train ticket for the both of them, not just one of them. Yeah, yeah. That was a little, that was just a little suspicious to me. That was a little suspicious to me. That was suspicious. But I like the whole making this like like the other girl said. It is the best finesse now that TV, now that's a setup TV has came up with, okay? Because it doesn't even make any sense. These people already clearly know each other. Like, it's very clear that they already know each other, that there's some background, that there's some history. They're not just strangers. So you're not even making a cast. Like, you're just like, you got a show, and you just slapped the name on it because you ain't had no premise. You just wanted to put these people <laughs> in a house. That was genius, though. That's shade. Like, that is crazy to me, how they came up with that. Y'all ain't had no premise. Y'all ain't really had no concept. Y'all ain't even really have a name. Y'all ain't had nobody else to steal an idea from. So y'all was like, you know what? We just gonna put them in the house and make them do what they do. Okay, that's what it is. Because very clearly, every other show y'all got on this on this uh, network, y'all done took from somebody else's brain. Oh, let's be clear about that. So mm, y'all ain't. So yeah, like that whole the whole series is just weird. And I think Anya tore that up. And I do think Ghana can fight, but I think that if Anya wasn't so tired from all that drinking and binge eating that she'd be doing, I and she was running around, but you know, even with all that running around, girl, if you would slow it down on the alcohol just a little bit, that kangaroo pouch that Roly said. That, oh my God. <laughs> that, that kangaroo pouch, honey, would slim down and you would have a little bit more breath. So I definitely think, um, I think she... It, I don't think she would have like beat her up, but I think she would have did better than she did. Like, Ooh. cause she, excuse me, she got she got toe up. Yeah, yeah. And I had to turn the I had to turn <laughs> I had to turn the TV off because I was they were annoying me those twins very much treacherous and annoying and clout and I can't wait to see Mao tell tear one of them up. I need that. I need that. Mao, if you do not Mao met his evil twin in Q. Ma, I, I call him Mao. I don't know why. Ma. Uh I didn't watch too much Wicked uh Descendants girl. Um anyway, but yeah, Ma, I need Ma to tear one of them boys up. I do. Ma, if you don't do that, it's you, take that crown off. I need you to tear one of them Ooh. up. I need if you do if if they get on that show and they e are even contending with you, take that crown off. Take it off. Take it off. Okay? Cause it ain't yours no more. It belongs to them because they really have taken over. And I won't like that because they're annoying. Okay. Zero. Now I, I'm interested to see the Playboy season on more than ever because now I'm watching the little series thing and I'm seeing it. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm gonna see. I wanna see. I'll be honest with you. It looked like they're messing Playboys up. Like it, like from like we're already on Gigi's clocked it. Like it's spoilers. Like we know two two people that have already left the house. Why do I know that already? I just that is it. true. Now they're by nears. That's and, a little. And now the season has no limit. Like I didn't see a few fights on, um, on Twitter and everything. Like, why am I seeing oh, that? Oh, I gotta head over to Twitter now. I haven't seen that. Like, why? Ain't you gotta send me a link, girly. DM girl, me. Girl, I will. I definitely will. Cause why y'all ain't locked that down? Why y'all ain't locked that down? Like, excuse me. Like, and it seems like it's too many people there. It seems like it's so many boys that, like, oh my god, I know it's stank. I just know it's stank. I know everybody holding their breath. I know Mars nose will not be satisfied this season. He, he want to go home so bad. I know he do because I know it, it is reeks up in there. I don't know. I feel like Isaiah is too focused on being a cast member to really produce this show properly. I think he like I just think it's too much for him. Like he I think is, this season he's a cast member for real though. Like all just that's what I mean. Like he's actually a cast member this season. That's why I think it is so already just 
discombobulated because he's too focused on being a cast member. And I, I, that reunion, I mean, not the reunion, but the, um, what is it called? The auditions? The auction? I, listen, I want, yeah, the, the slave auction? Mm -hmm. That I, was very wrong. <laughs> listen, listen. I wanted, uh, what's that man name? I want a Big Mac truck to hit mm -hmm. one of them men over the head with that bottle. I really did. I'm sorry. I don't care what nobody say. Isaiah does too much for me sometimes, especially when he knows he has backup. Like, I just I just wanted one of them boys to go night-night so Isaiah could realize that his people could touch the ground sometimes. Like, I get it. Y'all, you really do got them rough and toughers. Like, you really are the CEO. You be throwing them things. Like, you and Ray Monte fight just They were like, trying Ma. I'm not Ma. They were trying uh, Mac a lot throughout the auditions. I didn't like that. I didn't like the way. And I'm not even a no Big Mac fan, but I was like, damn, like, what the hell did he do to y'all? I'm not a Mac fan. At, I'm going to be real honest with you. Like, I'm, I ain't, a, I ain't none of they fan. But if I'm going to pick one, it's going to have to be Ma. But, and that's just because he seems the least ugh. Um, but he's still ugh. Right. But just compared <laughs> he to gives the rest me the least of the ick. Yes, he gives me the least ick. Like it goes like Ant gives me the most ick, and then Maul gives me the least ick. And I, that's crazy because they best friends. I don't know how that works, but either way it goes. But I I didn't like the way that all the men were surrounding Mac. And you could truly tell that he was in a vulnerable situation. And I didn't really like that because it's like Isaiah real like I get that you are young and that these men do be trying you, but at the same time, they're like seeing somebody that's supposed to be a boss, that's supposed to be someone's boss that has like say so in their job or in their position, ganging up with their friends to surround an employee. And knowing full well that security are going to try to stop it, but they really ain't going to try to stop it because they want to get it on camera. That just made me so uncomfortable. And I just wanted, wanted them to go to sleep. I just really mm. did. And it, it's just like I wanted Nash to go to sleep after she punched Ann. And I don't even like Ann. I just feel like Nash. Yeah, I didn't like that either. I said that on my Twitch. Nash does too much for me. And it's like... Stop touching your face, first off, because I can tell that you are digging deep into that face and it is starting to look more and more skeletal like you're like you're starting to look like the court's bride. Stop okay. touching the face. Second, like stop claiming how you got such this close and deep bond with production. Like just because you on your knees for somebody in production don't mean that you really have that close and deep bond. Third, keep your hands off of people that you don't want to knock you out. OK, and it's like I'm not going to say Cashy was eating her up because I really don't ever want to be on the side of a dude that pooped in a bag. But I will say that he has some points because it's like, why you ain't fight cash? Mm. Why? Like, you can say like, y'all, you're talking about people that's not here. Go find her. <laughs> you, you'll go find anybody else. Like, I remember you was at, you was at who house? Lacey. You was, you was stalking outside of Lacey and landing them crib. Like, you were literally outside waiting for hours on live with your homegirls. You drove around looking for her because you knew she was in the same city as you. Do that to Cash. Well, it almost happened at the Sausage Baddies and we didn't get any of that. <laughs> See, I don't know, like, no, no Tino Shade. I really don't care what none of, and I, I am an Ivory fan. Don't get me wrong. But watching those lives, like, they can edit the show however they want, but watching the lives where they knew for a fact that them girls was outside, go outside. Apparently they weren't allowed to go outside. But oh, all of a sudden y'all listen to them? <laughs> all of a sudden y'all listen? Oh, all of a sudden y'all not hard-headed. All of a sudden y'all not big body and somebody can tell y'all what to do? That is true. That's a good argument. Like, now, oh. what, now, what do you think uh, in regards to... Um, the making the cast, what are the few cast members? And then after that, final thoughts, what are the few cast members from making the cast you think could actually be on the actual show? Uh, unfortunately, the treacherous twins. Unfortunately, unfortunately. That's all. Okay. Um, Nobody and, else. No, I mean, I feel like Ghana, I feel like Anya needs to be in somebody rehab. And I feel like. I honestly, I feel like everybody whose name I can remember 
can be on a show. And that's really Danya, Dad, Anya, Ghana, the Treacherous Twins. And I don't even really remember their real, real name. But I, their faces is popped up in my head. You know what I mean? But right. other than that, everybody else faded to the background so much. Like your background, like your background characters. Like, you know what I mean? It's not really... Even when you guys were arguing with people, I don't remember you. So that's, you know. And then my final thoughts is y'all should follow the channel. And that's really it. Okay. Period. Thank you so much, Kay. Bye. Night. All right, Mars. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, I can see how. Okay. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, she ate that. That was like the best part of that trailer for me. Um, I guess I'll start with the trailer since I don't really watch the other shows. The mm -hmm. trailer was really good for me. I wish it was a little bit longer, but I feel like they're not trying to give us too, too much. Um, Ivory ate that one line when she was like, y'all both could get up. No shade. Like, honestly, Ivory be doing a lot of I stuff. I want to address this with. whole no shade thing, by the way. I'm glad you brought <laughs> that up. I almost forgot. I need the Not As TV girls to officially retire the term no shade and give it back to the gay community. Not everything is no shade. No shade. Like they yeah. say, they could be like, I'm gonna go take a shit. No shade. I'm gonna go take a piss. No shade. That's not shade. Yeah, shade man, they definitely don't be using it properly. And intentionally throwing shots. No, intentionally throwing shots at somebody trying to be funny. So please don't say that with, with after every comment. I'm gonna go <laughs> eat something from the fridge. No shade. That's not shade. <laughs> No, for real. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. They do be oh. doing that, but I honestly <laughs> did think she ate that one little line because like you could just tell like she thought she could take both of them. But um Sai is lame. I don't know. Like I didn't even notice her until she fought Legacy for no reason. And then she's not fighting Legacy for no reason technically because they started jumping Ivory, but like I just don't care for her. She needs to go sit down. It kind of looked like Farragama was jumping in on the male fight too, which I don't I don't know. I don't agree with that either because if she wanted her one on one fade, Mel would get her that. So mm. I feel like it's gonna be a lot of like lame stuff going on. But at the same time, Mel and Legacy start jumping first. I really don't care as long as Legacy beat up Ferrari because I don't like Ferrari. I've never liked Ferrari. She Ooh. didn't get her look back on Mia Kaya, and she should have sat down after that. Like there should have been no more. You don't more like Ari me. <laughs> what I do? She do nothing to me. She just get on my nerves <laughs> because she just like. Uh, she just want to be black. Like, that's really my problem with her. Like, Ooh. I feel like she want to be black so bad. And it just really irritated my whole entire soul. So, yeah, I'm done with Rari after that. Hopefully, now, they get a new host for next season. Because we didn't think Miss Sav was going to Oh, my God. Room. Honestly, uh, I'm kind of disappointed. Like, I didn't expect her to beat Kuzo. I don't think Kuzo's the best fighter. But she, Sav don't give me good fighter. But the fact that she was up there getting bought by Crystal like that, I was so embarrassed. I was like, either Crystal been taking some boxing lessons or you really just can't fight. Because Crystal was swimming in the house. Like, she was swimming for her life. No light check and no nothing. And now she up here bopping Sav, Sav up upside the head. Like, kudos to her for going to the reunion because she did talk that hot stuff in the confessionals. And it would have been lame on her to be in Jamaica posted up with her feet up. But um, exactly. Natalie did us all a favor and got us kicked out of there. <laughs> but, exactly. Yeah, I'm glad she decided to show up, but the reunion does look like it's going to be good. Um, I don't know why Megan's hosting it. That was kind of random. Um, mm. <laughs> you don't no, like Megan? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I Megan was random. Yeah, I feel like she's really random, and they could have got somebody else to do it, but maybe they were just trying to, you know, they just bring everybody over, because you saw that video I sent you of Carly Redden, and now that's TV chain. I wonder what right. she's doing over what there. Because I talked about a little bit of this Carly about now there's rumors that her and Mr. Owner may have allegedly have a relationship. What do you think about that? Um, I wouldn't be surprised. It's Carly's like speech. She's usually dating the boss of something, the CEO of somebody. So right. I mean, it would be kind of believable, I guess, if that makes sense. But I do want to see at least a trailer or something for Pick a Side because I feel like that's going to be a good show. Chaotic's pretty funny on Love & Hip Hop, at least to me. And then I like Scrappy. Scrappy's cool. But I feel like that's going to be a good show as long as they pick the right girls. Right. Now, you better hope, Scotty, that uh, Mrs. Carly Red does a head over to Zeus because, bitch, you'll be in trouble. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, my God. Lenny Peppers and see... Yumbo Grabs. 
did you see the pictures of everybody saying that Janisha looked like um the corpse bride? Um not the corpse bride. I don't leave the Janisha like, her bob alone. I like the bob. It's no, black. I hated that bob. That bob was terrible, Pierre. Honestly. I'll was play. Bad. I didn't like the bob. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way it was shaped in the back. Like honestly. I don't know what she was thinking. I feel like she was really trying to do her a big one because you know all the rumors that was going around at the time. Right. But I mean, she did her big one. Her boss, she she said, I need a block cut. I'm coming in block. <laughs> she definitely did. Um, as far as Mean Girls, the show is kind of trash, and maybe it's because of the editing, like y'all been saying. But the TTG girls are cool. I don't feel like Hillary can't fight, but I understand her with the whole asthma thing. And she needs to go outside and catch her breath. They didn't want her to catch her breath. She was hiding under that wig. <laughs> she was just trying to find her asthma. That phone. wig was her hat. Yeah, it, <laughs> that wig was terrible. And honestly, I feel like pressure just needs to go sit down somewhere. Because pressure, like, she don't give big pressure. Like, if she would have gave big pressure in the South Central house, I feel like her saying as much smack as she be saying like wouldn't bother me as much like how she keeps trying to get the girls to fight and i'm like pressure you didn't even want to fight like that like i don't feel like pressure is really that active to be trying to promote other girls to get active when she's not even really like that like she don't even give me she like that so i don't understand why she be trying to pressure the other girls into fighting and stuff and honestly if i was hillary i would have took off on her i'm not gonna lie like when they were standing outside the bar and she just kept talking and to I'm her i'm surprised she did it because i was like dang pressure you really just gonna keep bothering this girl but I guess so. Uh, I don't even know. And then the making the series, y'all can't even convince me to watch that. I'm sorry. Especially because I watched <laughs> I watched the Playboys auditions and the Treacherous Twins was getting on my nerves. I was like, oh hell nah. So I mean they're gonna be good TV. Oh, they're, if gonna they end up... <laughs> they're gonna get on my nerves if they make it on the Playboys. I don't know if they did, but honestly, uh, they're I can tell they're entertaining for TV, but they're so thirsty. Like they're hella desperate for a moment. And then they can't fight. They gotta jump everybody. I don't ever respect that. Like at least sometimes Lacey and Bossy, even though they're sisters, they'll let them run a one on one fade. They will jump, but like I'll give it to them. They'll at least let a one on one happen. They be jumping like automatically all the time. And I don't like that either. So I just need now that C V to come out with some new stuff because the only thing I had to watch this Sunday was the baddies. And the reunion was good. I'm not gonna lie, the reunion was actually really, really good. It Especially was. the end when E. T. got whooped. That was my favorite part. And did you see Camila kicking E. T.? They was jumping. I don't know if Sky jumped into it. Like it looked like she got in there, but yeah, it was a lot going on in that reunion. That reunion went up. And I feel like that was some of Zeus's best editing, for sure, for sure. I hope they continue to edit like that because yeah. I hate when we go the one scene for a scene and then it's just a long same conversation like it's better when they go back and forth like that. So whoever been editing it, keep editing. That was top tier. That was it really tier. was. And the only thing I didn't like about the reunion was <clears throat> the fact that Camila made up with Natalie because she was kind of making it seem like she was going to fade Natalie. But I feel like the only reason she didn't was because she knew that she had to fight E.T. and Roly, and I feel like she needed to save her energy. I don't think she wanted to be tired. Okay. Yeah, she needed to save her energy. She knew Someone she had said to that it. after they played the clip between her and Natalie's, you know, compilation over the season, that uh Nally looked petrified. I gotta go back and see. <laughs> she she did, but I feel like it's because she probably thought the same thing we're all thinking. Like Camilla might run up on her, but I feel like she got lucky. Like I don't feel like if she wouldn't have got into it with ET and Rolly, she probably would have fought Natalie. But I feel like she genuinely was like, I need to save my energy, mostly for ET. I don't think she was too worried about Rolly. But now what if Sally gagged her a second time and said, Oh, let's get up and hug and then pop her? <laughs> Honestly, Natalie would have ate. Natalie Loki would have ate. Not because I want to see that, but that would have been gaggy. Like, honestly, I feel <laughs> like E.T. Again, she would have gagged Camilla and then sat down and got gagged by E.T. <laughs> True. Oh, my God. Honestly, I don't even think E.T. did her that bad, though, because she only kicked her out of the chair. She kind of ran over there and just kicked the chair over. So Natalie didn't even get it that bad. I feel like... If anything, Nat Nat was done justice by the end of the reunion as many times as Tasiki went upside her head and she got jumped and kicked all in her butt talks after that surgery. Right. Um, hopefully her organs are okay. I saw somewhere that she wasn't doing too well. That but hopefully is her crazy. Her, like, yeah. I hope honestly, the girl okay, though. Yeah, me too. But honestly, part of me is like, girl, that's what you get because you knew that she was about to go to that reunion and you had been talking smack to all the house be. And it was a possibility you was going to get jumped. And you went and got that surgery. She could have waited. But, you know, that's up to ethereal roughing. Right. Thank you so much, Bryce. <laughs> Good night. Good night. All right. Last caller, Breezy. Hey, Pierre. 
How What's are you? up? I'm good. I'm Louis, good. How, how are Louis you? Louis Gucci Prada. Pop them tags. Pop I them know you tags. Want a limited stay with me, and we <laughs> gonna be together. Together. Speaking <laughs> of Carly, what do you think of her and Mr. Owner allegedly I, together? You know what? I think it's the chunky one. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I just don't get Mr. Ooh. Owner being the one talking to him because I think he's still messing with the young ones. He gives me like, you know, Lemmy Palmer vibes, the new young Right, one. right, right. Yeah, I think it's the chunky one. I think it's the chunky one. I'm going with him, him for a uh, 500. Can, or some of the other one. It's mm -hmm. another one too. Or the other ones. Yeah, I don't think it's the big, the big honcho. I, I mean, it's enough to get her a, a 10K in a chain, but you know. I definitely think it's not Mr. Owner. Yeah, I don't. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Now, what do you think about some of these shows? Okay, the thing with Mean Girls. All right. So I'm I'm surprised nobody talked about uh the what is it the treacherous twist the girl singing Sweet Home Alabama. Right, right. I was like, yo, I died laughing when I heard her, her say that. I was like, this is hilarious. Like her say Sweet Home. Like I was like, this girl has like a lot of personality. That's why everybody likes them. And I am kind of like warming up to the show. But yeah. I, I did notice that pressure was kind of like going hard on the other girls that they fought. And I think it was because they wanted to eliminate them because they probably didn't have enough space in the house or didn't want to buy them right. or something. I was like, it's got to be that because they just she just kept pressuring. They're like, you want to fight? You want to fight? Oh, you don't want to be on the show? Oh, say say it out loud. You don't want to be on the show? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm like, yo, pressure, ease up, girl. But then I think like they just wanted to quickly kick them off so they can go ahead and just move forward. I, I think they didn't have the money for them for the hotel room or the house. Like, that's what I thought it was. Like, I didn't know if anybody noticed that, but I was like, yeah, that's what I noticed. So, yeah. But yeah, I mean, that, that was like it for like the mean girls part. Now, how um, do you think about pressure as a host? I, I mean, okay. <laughs> I just wish she would step her outfit game up. You know what I'm saying? I, I think she's good. I think she has a great personality. And I think she's getting with the girls, like, verbally. Like, she's actually, like, switching them up. Like, they like, oh, shoot. Like, I didn't even think about that. Like, she'd be like, okay, but then why did you say that? I mean, what what's the problem? I mean, get out my face if, that's, if it's not that serious, right? You don't want to fight, right? It's not that serious, right? But she just they can clown her because she ain't got her clothes up to par. You know what I mean? Like, if she got her outfits and stuff up to par, it would, like, they would have nothing to say about her. Because her face true. card is smashed. Her hair is, you know, she does a pretty decent job on her hair. But them clothes, she be looking like she shop at the baby bop shop, like, at least the kitty <laughs> shop with them kitty skirts and them kitty shirts. I be like, girl, like, nah, you need to you need to stop. Like, that's all you need. That You need somebody who's going to design you right, girl. Come on now. So that, that's that's the only thing that she's failing on. So, But she's good. I like her. I like her personality. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. The, oh, the one thing about um, making the series, okay, yeah. <laughs> the, with Dad, okay, <laughs> dad, as soon as Dad, they pulled Dad from getting beat up, she was talking so much smack, like, I beat, I beat that girl up, yeah, man. I'm like... <laughs> The level she to be convinced. <laughs> right? I was like, she had to convince herself that, like, the level of delusion that she had, like, right there and there. Everybody think about the, like, the confessional, but it's not the confessional. She literally got molly whopped and they pulled her out. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's what's, that's what's up. That's what I told. I told these girls not to play with me. And I'm like, girl, you just got beat up. Like, what's up? Like, that's the thing. But I do like in the next episode that the girl that um helped dad beat up, I guess, Anya. I like the fact that that the producer or whatever is getting on her because she was a little annoying. Because I'm like, why you keep trying to beat her on? You know she tired. You know she drunk. You know she a little bit on the thick side. She sit there. She says she only want to party and have fun. You want her to molly whop and squabble, squabble, squabble. Really, when dad wasn't even supposed to be squabbling. So why you keep, like, I think they be taking advantage of how many squabbles these girls have. And they know right. that they're tired. And they, yeah, and Aria, they like, at that point, you know, Aria's up there in age, so she had to, you know, <laughs> bang at her knees out before these next rounds, and they just let her fight back to back to back. 
that and then it I get that Anya wanted that, but it's like that wasn't a W for you, girl. Like she literally beat dad up like so much, and then she's tired, and now she's coming to you. So you should be happy she has any energy whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not a W though. Like catch her tomorrow morning when she's bright eyed, bushy tail, and then tell me like if you got a W on her, like don't get her when she's already tired, being gayed her knees up, you know what I'm saying? After drinking all day, like, you know what I mean? She wasn't, it wasn't even about, she wasn't even about that. So I don't know. They, they really think they'd be doing like the big ones um, on those, but the twins, I'm going to say the one thing about the twins, I think they're bi, but I think once they get into the Playboy's house, we're going to see that they like men a little bit more. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna I'm see crying, it. Yeah. We we'll are see gonna the see them come out. Yeah, we're gonna be see part of the LGBTQ. <laughs> right. I mean, they may be B because they're in this making the house, but trust me, they originally wanted to be all Playboys, and there was a reason for that. Come on now, it can't just be you know people be auditioning for multiple reasons. The girls and the guys, like the girls get right. in the house, they they do whatever they do, and the, the Playboys get in the house and they do whatever they I do. I just well, I was side eye if a straight guy want to be on Playboys. Like you really want to do that show? <laughs> come, <laughs> come on, come on. On, like even to like with the auditions which was grade a hot ghetto material and i loved every minute of it i was like yes ghetto this but it's like anybody who was there you it, it they were all a part of the same genre like they all they all they they all rock with each other so if you were like 100 percent like straight i would kind of question that like okay like all right, no problem. I mean, we'll 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 accept it. We'll 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 right, say okay. But, it's like, but that's your first choice is Playboy. It's yeah, like, but that's your you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna have one eye open with you, sir. Like, what you doing? So you know, and it is what it is. I mean, I know one thing. Once Safari's legs was kicked up in the air with that table, they had to cut it short. <laughs> they were oh, like, yes. <laughs> and at Playboy's and their auditions, they were like, no. And did you see like the picture with the graphics? How they put those stupid suits on them, <laughs> and they they just they put like the, the, the heads in the suits. <laughs> yes, I was done. I was done with that because I was like, they could actually take a picture with a pit, like a suit. I'm like, what? That what? was crazy. Popping these heads or these suits. I'm like, what are y'all doing? Oh my god, it was like just hilarious. And then with the Playboy's edition audition, I did uh, auction or whatever. I didn't like the B-roll at the end. I really thought it was just unnecessary. I thought like, as soon as Safari said Playboys, blah, 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 they should have just cut it. I really didn't need to see Naj hit a man. You know what I'm saying? Hit a man. Um, right. She should have known, like Naj has, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. She just has this grandiose attitude. So it's just hard to kind of like calm her down when she's in this I'm a diva mode and I'm Mrs. Now that's TV. But I mean, I'm I'm all for. I, I really wanted to see Aunt hit her back. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ooh. I'm sorry. Like, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, if you disrespect anybody like that, please prepare for the repercussions. Like, it was the grace of God that you didn't. Get, you you are lucky you hit who you hit because right. he should have smacked you. I mean, real talk. Like, he should have just did it. Like, it, it and they and they should have cut it out or something because she doesn't learn her. You would think. Sue, I forgot. Um, what's her name? Persuasion. You think that would have? She cracked her face open. That would have been like, oh, okay. But you still out here utilizing your hands. So it's kind of like you hitting the wrong people, Naj. You really just not getting it. And she's probably gonna need her face cracked open one more time. But it just was unnecessary. Um, B roll. To be honest, yeah. So yeah, no, I get what you mean for sure with the B roll at the end. That was not needed. It just wasn't needed. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, and then I can't, I mean, of course, I think I already went into Mean Girls. I went into Playboy Editions. Okay. Well, that was pretty much it. But I do have a final thought. Mm -hmm. No shade. No shade. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of y'all. <laughs> so, my next shade. Okay. Let me know what you guys think down below about uh, the after show. Mean Girls and making the series. What y'all think about some of the cast members? And also, do y'all think Mr. Miss Kali is seeing Mr. Owner? Ooh, okay. Leave your comments down below and we're out, babies. Ain't no personal thing.